Hi hey guys, I'm just going to make a quick video today to talk about but still slightly pathetic tail. So when he came to me, he had a chewed off tail and uh, he literally had a few hairs. So it's almost to the point of being respectable now. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit longer. Um, so he's my model for today. The first thing about tails is absolutely never, ever, 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 ever uh, brush them unless they've been washed, conditioned, and have some sort of slippery spray or oil in them. Um, the more often you brush a tail, the more tail hair you rip out. So I think I'm not alone in saying that everybody wants pretty thick tails. So tail brushing is not part of your daily grooming. If you are riding in a lesson, you kind of pick out the pieces of shavings, the hay, the weeds, whatever, with your fingers, but absolutely no tail brush. Um, tail brushing is something that is only done after the tail is of the tail a little bit it makes the bottom of the tail look more full and it accentuates the horse's musculature on their bum um, so you can do this with scissors I'm gonna do it with clippers if he'll let me I think he will um, scissors are a little bit safer there's less accidental slippage um, but really either one will work the trick is to go slowly take your time and just take a little bit off at a time if you take off more than you mean to don't panic you can always make it look better by making it symmetrical so um, of course you have to pay attention to safety um, he's pretty good but uh, try not to stand directly behind them always make sure that they know you're there that should be obvious but so, do as I say not as I do right, uh, of course. <laughs> um, So first I'm gonna make sure he's used to the clippers uh, I'm definitely not gonna stand right behind him and turn the clippers on shuffles around a little bit. Usually they get used to it if you stay pretty calm. Um, you saw me stand them up square earlier. For obvious reasons, don't clip their tail when they're resting a leg. Um, pretty hard to be symmetrical when they're not symmetrical. So that's good enough to start. I'm going to square them up a little bit more once I finish it up. When you go to clip the tail, anchor your hand. So you definitely don't want to be waving your arm in the air because if they move or if you get a little shaky, you're going to take off a big chunk. Um, put your own hair up in a braid. This sounds stupid, but with, if your hair blows into the clippers, you will take off a chunk. I've done it before. Um, so anchor your hand, and you're just going to take off a little bit at the top. So I'm not clipping because he's shif shifting a little bit. So I'm just going to take off a little bit at the top. It's okay, bub. So you saw him kind of flinch there. And so eventually we're going to have a half moon shape on the... It's okay, bub. You're gonna have a half moon shape on the side of the tail. He's clenching his butt so hard. So I'm taking off less than eventually I want to. Um, you can always take off more, you can't put it back. So eventually, because he's an eventer, I'm gonna clip quite a bit. He's gonna have a big half moon shape kind of down to the point of his buttock. If you were a dressage horse, I would clip less. Um, this would probably be sufficient for a dressage horse. You can see his tail's already a little bit more shaped. Um, but the style for adventures is to have quite a bit clipped on both sides, uh, which I don't normally subscribe to, but because his tail is a bit scrawny, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I think it will make his tail look more full. So, they actually tend to kind of like this, so once he got used to it, now he's kind of lifting his tail because I think it feels good. The right side of the tail is easier for me because I'm right-handed. So when we get to the left side, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. So each time I go, I'm taking off a little bit more hair. I'm getting a little closer to the tailbone. Um, I'm clipping with the hair. 
because I don't want him absolutely bald, this is not a situation where I'm going to clip against the hair like you would in body clipping. accommodating now and picking up his tail because it feels good. The wind is blowing that back in my face. So you can kind of see the the half moon shape starting here. I'm closer at the bottom than I am at the top so I'm going to start. Kind I'm of actually having a really hard time getting the, getting the shape. It's more the lighting. Oh, okay. So I'm kind of like pressing in here at the top to catch the very top of the tail. So poor Marius is having his butt on display. I don't think he minds though. So that's pretty good for now. I'm going to go and do the, <laughs> he likes that. Um, I'm going to go and do the other side of the tail and then I'll come back. So again, this side's a bit harder for me because I'm not as coordinated with my left hand. So it's harder than you would think getting it symmetrical. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. The number of times that people are gonna actually like examine your horse's tail is pretty uh, negligible. He's actually being quite cooperative picking up his tail because when they're clamped into their butts, it's a bit hard to, to access them. So I'm just checking here. So I'm a little bit lower on the, the right than the left. standing directly behind him. Obviously this is unsafe. Um, if you have a kicker, don't do it. But it, on the other side, it's really hard to get symmetrical if you're not behind the horse. So you can see how many strokes it's taking. Um, I'm actually really taking my time here. This is not something you want to do. When you're tight and tense and in a hurry, it's not something you want to do when your horse is tense because it takes quite a while to get it shaped the way you want it. So um, let me show it from the very back right here. So this is looking fairly symmetrical. Um, it's a little bit blocky here for my taste. It's like a, a pretty bad buzz cut on a, on a guy. So I'm just going to see if I can shape it a little bit and see if I can't make it look a little less um, blocky. But I'm not unhappy with that. I think that's a, a good start. So, there's a little piece here that kind of sticks out that doesn't happen on the left. Um, and there's not quite a smooth arc on the left. So I'm going to take a tiny piece here to make it more of a clean half moon. Um, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I think honestly at this point it would be pretty, pretty good for most people. He really likes the tail. Apparently I don't give him enough tail massages. I probably should have cleaned his dock before I did this. I didn't really think about that. So, so I'm just going to stand back and look. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I still think there's like a little piece here that pokes out that doesn't happen on the left. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and just see. I keep coming back to this. He's got some like strange long hairs here that I want to go with. So again, I'm clipping with the hair because I'm not trying to body clip him here. I just want to kind of trim that. There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty darn good. I'm going to let myself think about that for a moment and I might come back. 
actually I lied, there's a piece here I want to take off. So I just really want to make sure that looks symmetrical. So I like that quite a bit. Um, so I'm just going to really quick talk about banging his tail. He's had it banged recently. Um, banging, of course, is the trimming at the bottom. So when you bang the horse's tail, you want to bang it as short as you can. It's always a game between how short do I go that where it looks full, but it doesn't look too short. So this is pretty short. Um, it's grown quite a bit in the last six months, but ideally I'd like it for it to hit here a few inches above the fetlock. Um, however, it kind of tapers out at the bottom, so I always play a game because it looks better being a hair shorter. <laughs> I just made a pun. Um, it looks better being a little bit shorter, but more full and a little bit straighter at the bottom. So I've, I have banged it recently, but I'm gonna take off just a tiny bit to show you. So when you bang, you wanna pay attention to how the horse holds its tail when it travels. Some horses hold their tail kind of up and out behind them, and you always want it to have a straight line at the bottom. Some horses travel with their tail clamped down. He carries his about here. So I'm gonna hold him under there. I'm gonna grab my scissors actually. So I'm gonna hold him under here, kind of the way, mimicking the way he carries his tail when he travels. And then I'm gonna take my hand and follow the hair down while I still am holding the tail in this position. I need to turn my hand around. Follow the hair down and then I'm gonna hold right above where I wanna cut it. Once you're holding, then you can move the tail. And you just wanna cut sharp scissors straight across. And then I'm gonna stand back and get him to hold his tail up again. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, hopefully in a few months it'll be longer and more full. Over time, these split ends here, you can see, will grow out as long as I'm not brushing his tail all the time. So if you're one of those people who loves to brush tails, make sure that they're washed, conditioned, and sprayed. Um, to spray, I use the Mane and Tail Detangler. I'm not super brand specific, so I like this because it's in a spray bottle and I can get it on more evenly but um, Cowboy Magic also makes it in a squeeze bottle and that's awesome too. But put some sort of detangler on there, it makes the hair slippery so that they don't rip when you brush them. Um, so as long as you're not brushing, these split ends will grow out. It just takes time and good nutrition. Um, when you do brush the tail, you always wanna start at the bottom. I know this sounds obvious, but I watch people rip tails out all the time. Um, start at the bottom, hold it with the other hand just brush a little section at a time so if you do hit a knot you can work it out from the bottom rather than ripping the whole tail out so I've already brushed his today so his is pretty, pretty good but eventually you should be able to brush through when you hear the tail ripping stop don't keep brushing um, okay that's it for tails um, clipping tails at the top banging tails don't brush your tail unless it's been washed conditioned and detangled all right, that's it.